worked with Master Chia in 86, and before I was very sick. I have uh, brain cerebral hemorrhage in uh, 79, during I was pregnant, and uh, I have to have a cesarean, and I have a second uh, cerebral hemorrhage in 83. And I was sick and sick. <laughs> I tried to find a way to cure myself, but I don't know what to do. And um, in 83, I was on the time of hemorrhage in the cervix area, and I need to have a surgery, and I have a hysterectomy. Um, after that, I, um, I tried to find some something to help me more and don't stay laying down in the bed, take the pills, to don't have another hemorrhage and try to figure out what to do with myself. Don't stay like that in the bed all my, all my life. And uh, I find the once I was meditating, making uh, Zen meditation, and the microcosmic world that opened by itself, and I tried to find what is it. And I um, follow around, try to find something, and I find Master Chia book, and I start to work with him. After all those things, uh, what is happening to me it was very difficult because when I um, had the cerebral hemorrhage, I have part of paralysis, and uh, I. Uh, lost the vision, half of the vision of each eye. I was blind at the right. And I cannot drive. I lost my driver license. I was feeling like I was 80 years old lady. <laughs> um, and I was out of energy at this time. Can you believe it? <laughs> and now, uh, uh, when I start with the system, it was very hard for me because I was very um, out of energy and I practice and I try and I come back and I start to come to the session. And when I start with the iron shirt tree, something happened for me. It's, it's helped very much and it's uh, helped cure myself to bring back the tremendous power of sexual energy inwardly start to cure my kidney and help everything, all the organ inside after hysterectomy, everything's can drop down. And it's, I have a lot of problem with the intestine, something that I never had before. <laughs> I was never sick before, it was very sudden. Um, and um, it start to help the bowel movement and all the things, the intestine and all the organ, I think, go back to their place. Uh, it start to help to cure the pain in the brain and uh, all the muscle and the blood uh, circulation in this area that the, the iron shirt only, the, the first level, doesn't do. It was very painful for me, but I still do it. <laughs> and um, uh, and the um, fantastic thing, I, I lose pound. <laughs> and yes, and it's, it's stay like that. Uh, I do, I start, I don't do nothing else than doing the exercise and uh, I stay healthy and more uh, beautiful. <laughs> when you start to work with bone marrow knee gum, iron shirt three, you start to take control of your genital muscles and really take control of your sexual desires. And in my own practice, over the last five years, I found a tremendous uh, improvement in understanding and what to do with this energy in a very uh, methodical process in redirecting the energy and utilizing what it's really for, my own spiritual development. And I feel that through the practice, you can really start to concentrate and redirect your energies. Now we come up to a massage, the sexual organ massage. And uh, apparently, a very important part in, um, in the marrow uh, washing also. Because in the thousand main men, 
we believe that the, the sexual energy and the, the hormone that store in the um, in the testicle that producing in the testicle will help producing the marrow. That's what we call gene, the sperm, and the essence of it. Which this essence can help you build or anything. This is a fun part I like to do. You know, sometimes you, you <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you work for a while. Uh, in the in the mat, and you have to make sure you have something. Uh, your, your table is has something covered on that, and you just reach down there and you just. <laughs> After that, you feel refreshed right away, <laughs> and you go back to work. It's very really true. It, it's sometimes you know some. What, what are you doing? You know, but uh, <laughs> some people. <laughs> it's something people don't know, but you actually it's an exercise. It's a very very incredible exercise. <laughs> Testicle producing testosterone. Okay, and that for developing muscle or activate the gland for making us right away alert. When people when people feel sexy, not like men when they when they feel arousal. Oh no, they just wake up right away. You know? <coughs> they suddenly have energy right away. Just for it come from here. It comes from the testicle. Okay? The only one thing that when people don't know how to handle the sexual energy they're aroused. They are aroused out here and they don't know what to do with it and they lost and they lost out in that part. So this one is incredible exercise. And in the morning, I do it in the morning, and do it at night, go to sleep. Okay? And uh, in the morning, wake up, after I, I, I smile out a little bit, and everything, and feel the energy flow, and put my hand out there, and just massage. You enjoy that kind of feeling. It's not exactly pain, it's not exactly not pain, and soreness, <laughs> and you feel some kind of feeling coming up, Connecting to so much nerve, the sexual organ is connected to so much nervous system all over the whole body. You see, and um, and uh, you, if you look here, the the vein and artery, the nerve is so much. That's why people are so that when they feel uh, 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 when they feel like arousal and everything is so much nervous system in this area. Before you practice, you should do the we call by light power lock. So you inhale, squat, let's do it together. I do a few times, inhale, squat, inhale, contract, pat your uh, tongue, tip, chin. That is in the power lock, in the male sexual practice. Okay? So inhale, you tight, the light it contract, tighten your muscle, tighten your, uh, tighten your teeth, press your tongue, and put your chin a little bit. Okay? and pull your eye, look up a little bit and pull up the sexual organ and exhale inhale inhale right there this, pull, this practice is very important because you strengthen your muscle strengthening your muscle <coughs> yeah. so you have this muscle to help you pull up the weight okay, so the way to do is you hold this one one and you massage it, just like holding up, back and forth, left and right, rolling around and squeezing a little bit. Don't squeeze too hard and don't squeeze too light. You have to be exact enough pressure to feel it. Okay? Exact enough pressure to feel it. And um, now, the next one is involved with tapping. This is also very fun. Tapping. It's pain, also. <laughs> a real pain. But that is. We have a lot of people that they have problem with sperm count really low. This is the exercise for them. Massage the Tesco and cap. After that, you tap it like this. This is pain. Real, some kind of <laughs> really some not not exactly say pain, but what you do a few times, you like. <laughs> it just it just light, you know, and you just tap it. Okay, tap. Them like this, and you hit them. Pat, hit. We got pat them. Pat, pat, pat like this. Okay. And um, until you feel the chi and energy flow. The important part of the chi and energy flow. Like that. 
And the next one, you started to pull them. It's very important you, you grab the, the whole thing. You get in and you grab the whole thing. And you inhale, you pull down, and you pull up. So your hand pull down, and this one pull up. Okay. This exercise, you can use it when you are on traveling, when you don't have the weight with you. So you can do that. Okay. So you inhale, pull up, and this one pull down. Okay. And uh, wait, this one don't come up. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't mean you pull up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, and then you pull down, pull up, and the next one you inhale, you pull to the right, pull to the right, and you pull up to the left. Okay, a few times. Inhale, pull to the left, and you pull up to the right. Okay? And, that, and after that, you pull, you spiral. You hold it, and you spiral. You hold it, and you pull this way. Spiral this way. So you do this. This very important movement to help you, you spiral clockwise and spiral counterclockwise uh, counter counter and you spiral clockwise. So you hold the whole thing and you just round that way and backward this way. Okay? So you hold the duck, it, it actually is like a tube, like a tube over there. So you hold the tube and you start it to massage up and down. You, you find, you, when you find, you cannot miss it, it's very slippery, okay? And uh, it's not like nerve, but it's like a tube, plastic tube that way. And a lot of people have problems because it's stuck in here and the pain, terrible pain. And, um, and when it gets on so pain, so pain, so pain, they don't know what to do with it. Apparently, I tell you, if it's so pain, you go in and massage a few times, you go. <laughs> but when it's stuck and people don't know what to do with it, and it's so pain so because the sperm everything cannot go and it's it pain, it's stuck something inside. And the blood stuck and the nerve stuck something like that. And after that, they have to do operation to cut it. Sperm count low. A lot of people do the Tesco Basak tapping, tapping, tap. And about a few weeks, go and check the sperm count increasing. But the need have to be stop ejaculation for a while also. So you move up and down. Okay? Now, the next part, you need to massage the prostate gland. So you massage the perineum. If you look at the prostate gland, okay, here the prostate gland. Here the prostate gland, and um, so here, if you are massage from the perineum here, so you, you put the hand down here, the testo here, the perineum, you push down, push down like this. And you massage from here, okay, right in here. You will find you actually massage on between. Um, you have to hear the bone, hear the bone, hear the bone, hear the bone. And you massage between that, you have activate the prostate gland. You activate the prostate gland there, okay? They have the between the bone there. You find, when you put your hand down, you find a big hole you can get in. That's here and I found it. And you keep a massage there, you activate the prostate gland. And when you contract like this, you also activate the prostate gland also. Okay? And you squeeze the anus, here the anus, you also activate the prostate gland. So if you're doing the, the down well, the prostate gland problem, very likely you're going to have. Men have so much problem with the prostate. Prostate gland cancer cannot urinate when they get old. Because this is hardening, get on, and they never exercise. A lot of fun, you know. And they need to be exercised. And uh, some people that never ever have idea about this at all. They just never have idea about it at all. And um, absolutely just no idea. And all they do is just peel it, that's it, finish. When they get sick, operation, and that's it. You know, taking peel and medicine. The penis is a light spun. You look carefully out, take out half. It lies spun. Okay, it's actually the light spun. And um, and um, you can massage it. You can massage it like this. Massage. 
Usually, you always use the silk cloth to do it, and it's very good. Okay, use the silk cloth to massage it. Okay, use the silk cloth to massage it, and um, that will help. Okay, the coccyx and sacrum is so much nerve, so you massage on here. Massage here. Okay, massage on here. Massage here. And that will activate a lot of nervous system in our body. And that is for the massage. Silk cloth, um, they can produce more electricity and sulfur. Okay? Other cloth is too cloth. When it's too cloth, when you rub around, you're going to be <coughs> scratch the sexual organ. Sexual organ, when you scratch, it's very hard to heal. That's one thing. The second thing, when you need to tie, when you need to tie the um, when you need to tie the sexual organ, the silk cloth have a property that can be tied tighter and soft. The other cloth very very bulky, and when you tie and when you slip, it scratch the whole thing and you get hurt. And that's why the silk cloth expensive, but that's what they are. Mm -hmm. And maybe in the olden time, <coughs> thousand two three thousand years ago, all they do is the best clothes is the silk. But the seal they discover it conduct more, more electricity, and more uh, we call by static in a in a thousand we call chi. The main massage we have it as uh, classified for two. The first thing we call the gland massage, and the second one we call the organ massage. So have treating in for the lady for the sexual practice can support for the bone breathing. The first thing I going to teach is the gland massage. Each thing like gland massage and the organ massage or the chi with lifting, you can practice separate. That means if you don't have time, you can practice one of them. But when you finish, the important thing is draw the energy up. And after draw the energy up, so the energy is spread in your body. You need to collect the energy. Do the blown breathing before you finish it, and we end up with the microcosmic. So the first thing, the orgasmic upward draw. When you draw up and blown breathing, and the third thing, always collect the energy to the navel. Or you can combine each one together. You do the gland massage first. And if you don't want to end, you can continue the organ massage. And you can do the chi wet lifting. And you end up with draw the energy up. And after that, do the blown bleeding and end up with the microcosmic. When I say bone breathing, that means include the heating also. <laughs> that means you need to be you do the bone breathing, do the heating to in the set that Master G already teased. <coughs> For the gland massage. So we activate the gland. We have many glands in our body, and the gland is the one supply the hormone to us and activate the activity, the function in our body. The first gland we're going to draw the energy from is from the top, from the cloud, is the pineal gland. And we regard this gland is the one you can activate the light, and for higher practice, we do a lot also. So you Concentrate in the gland and draw the essence from the pineal gland. And when you feel something the, or the energy arise up in the gland, and you slowly bring down because the kidney meridian is start from the cloud and all the way down and pass by the nipple and all the way down to the adrenal gland and activate the sexual center also. <laughs> when sexual gland, we include the uterus, the ovary, 
and the cervix, all the area. So we practice gland by gland from the top all the way down, draw the energy from each gland down. So we start by the female gland on the top. And the second gland is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is behind the mid eyebrow and from the crown down. The pituitary gland we is the growth is growth hormone and is for the intelligence also. So we concentrate in the pituitary gland and until you feel something, you can just smile to the pituitary gland and your hand still rub the hand and <coughs> massage and then you activate the energy in the pituitary gland. When you feel something, so to draw down, so gland by gland for pineal to the pituitary, and direct your energy down to the thyroid and parathyroid. The thyroid and parathyroid, generally the lady is more activated because they control the, the in the sexual organ also. So you might feel the lady sometimes we have, you can feel easy than the man. So you concentrate in the thyroid, parathyroid. When you feel the energy rise up, bring it down, massage it. And from the thyroid, parathyroid to the thymus. The thymus scan, we activate usually the hormone that will control the heart. The heartbeat, the liver, and the spleen pancreas also. Most of it is concerned about digestive system also. And when you feel the energy, smile to the heart area, the thymus scan, and you feel something like a rise up, maybe happiness is like flower blossom. So pick that thing, spread and massage it. When you massage, always, you know, keep massage. When you massage, then you activate gland by gland and, you know, draw the energy out from the gland. And from the thymus gland, we go to the, to the back. In the back side, above the kidney, above the T11 area and on the both side. So that is the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland also very important. It makes me awake. Like we do a lot when you have coffee, the caffeine is activate the kidney. But by get something to activate. But if you do this practice, get the energy from the adrenal, it's natural. And it's very natural. It's not going to harm your body also. When the adrenal gland come out, that will activate the physical and the mentality also. Like some people, they can uh, lift up something very heavy. The brain is send the order set to lift up because the adrenal gland is activate the brain first. And it make out we have a lot of strength is the disc gland also. So you feel it smile to the adrenal gland and while you massaging. When you massage, the kidney meridian will activate, get you, help you easy to get the energy out. And you collect the energy, bring it up, blend it in the breast. And from the adrenal gland, you go down to the sexual, sexual gland. The sexual is money here. You can massage, you know, put your hand away here, or if you can feel, just feel it, massage in the breast area and just spiral the energy in the oily area and spiral in this area also. When you feel the oily, go to the cervix. And when you feel the energy arise up, draw it up and start to bend it again. And until you feel the energy is really bent and being down, bring it down, use your mind, guide down. You can use your hand, you know, guide down also. If you cannot feel much, you can use your hand or just use your mind, guide down and stop, guide down and do the orgasmic upward drop. It helps pull up one time, two time, three, until nine time. And the energy from your gland, so you can feel it's not maybe a little bit warm, it's not really cool like you do with the general the orgasmic energy. Maybe warm, it's, you can feel it. If you warm, don't let it bring it down and you do the heating and the bone breathing and the microcosmic 
If you feel right, you know, too hot, you can do the sick healing salve. And this is another the first in the gland massage. And the second one, we call the organ massage. Let me realize the energy up in your organ with the senses and we bring out to massage in your breath. The gland massage, we use the fingertip, but the organ massage, we use the palm. We activate the palm. You may love the palm warm and we massage the whole like this. And the first organ is the lung. This one is easy. You just go by from the lung and down, down, down. So easy for you to remember like. So the first organ, you can draw the energy from the lung. Also, the associate organ also, the lung and the last intestine. So I will take, talk only the major organ. So do massage your hand warm and put your palm and just massage. And close your eye, aware the lungs. Feel the energy you can spiral in the lung or span. And aware your nose. And feel the energy from your nose connecting with your lung. Spiral the energy, the essence from your sensor down to the lungs while you're massaging. When you feel the energy in your lung, draw it out to both sides and blend it. So the first organ, the second organ is the heart. Connect with your tongue. You can move your tongue aloud in your mouth. Swallow, slide one towards the heart while you keep massaging. And feel the energy in your heart. Sometimes if you can't feel it, you can do the circling sound to help. The heart sound. Where is low voice, sub vocally do it. Until you feel the energy from the heart and the tongue is really connecting. Draw it to the side and massaging. And the neck all can come down is the river. Turn your eye to the river and just watch it. You can do, also can do securing sound help until you feel the energy. Spiral <coughs> and bring it up to both sides and massage. Keep massaging. And the neck organ is the spleen, pancreas, and stomach. Connect your mouth. Feel the mouth connecting with the spleen plan here. You can slow the saliva also, or you still can do the circling sound until you feel the energy in the spleen plan here and draw it up and massage it. And the last organ is the kidney. Feel the kidney. Turn your ear, listen to your kidney. Feel the energy rise up and bring it up, blend it. So you have all the five organ energy and the sense of energy and you blend it and direct now to the sexual center area. Inhale, pull up the perineum, push down a little bit till your second and the energy will start to go up. So draw up nine times the orgasmic upward draw. The organ energy is depend also. If you have a lot of heart energy, a lot of liver, you might feel hot. And if you are very strong in the kidney, you might feel it. It's not very hot or cool. So you can feel it, but if too much, all will bring it down. And do the breathing after finish. Do the breathing and the bone breathing and the microcosmic. Or you can continue from the first one. Do the grand massage and skip the breathing and everything and do the organ massage and end with the final thing. Some of you, when you do the sexual practice, you might, you know, because it's a lot of energy if you have blockage, you might have some pain or feel uncomfortable in the sexual center area because the energy try to put through your blockage, especially the pain lady, have the ovary cyst or tumor, you need to massage the ovary. 
after you do the practice or um, do the massage in this area also. Hit lightly also can. Before you practice the chi word lifting, the massage, you can massage around the perineum because that will help you a lot before make it, you know, make sure the muscle in the perineum is relaxed and massage a little bit around until around so a little bit so you can start the chi wet lifting. 